All right, what's up, guys? Shepard Conta here, and welcome back to a brand new episode of Starfield. Um, we just got back, rescuing Barrett and Heller, Helen, Heller, Heller. I think Heller. And the uh, old rich guy wanted us to help him. So, satisfied. really quick, thank you so very much for any and all support on these and future videos. It means the world to me. It helps the channel out a ton, and it gives me the confidence and motivation to keep doing this. So, thank you so much. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let's get into it. Um. Is there any of I should have been following me now? Is that even a main mission what I'm going to do? Yeah, it is. Okay. on map set landing target so you can kind of fast travel from there the lodge that's good to know let us stick to business here and hopefully business has nothing to do with Aurora Smell that? Construction, incense, industrial chemicals of every kind. But they still can't get rid of the odor of chasm bass. We need to stop by the Stroud Ekman offices. There are certain authorization procedures when large funds are being transferred, even for something like this. Okay. Security cares far more about what you can do. The effort to make this place livable is astounding. There's no end to what can be accomplished when there are credits to be made. Run, Force, run! Ah, right, you're walking. I'm leaving you. If you were to kept up the hustle, I would have waited for you. Instant sensory overload. I do not know about you, but I am starting to suspect that clearly the getting kind of tired there, fellas. Uh, roll today. It's like my sixth video recording today. Three of these and we didn't know you were three gates. It's all right. I just need to have a short chat with my counterpart. <clears throat> yes, uh, allow me to bust you in, sir. You know, Mr. Stroud, you are so lucky. Walter. Issa. Shall we continue from last time? The luxury cruise line market is completely outside of our core competencies. Investing into it is a mistake. No, I'm here about... Wait a minute, a mistake. Our ship designers are the best in the settled systems. They design personal craft and military ships, Walter. Large-scale accommodations and hospitality is a completely different beast. Oh, I'm so sorry. Here I am, arguing with my partner. <laughs> and you're just standing right here. Issa Eklund, the hyphenated Eklund in our glorious company's branding. Uh... Oh, aren't you lovely? Walter. Wherever did you meet your new friend? I'm jealous. A colleague from Constellation. Ah, yes. The daring explorers. My partner is so infatuated with. <laughs> you should hear him reciting that speech. <clears throat> There's no need to go into that. <laughs> oh, my heart skips a beat when he does it. Really, it does. Such passion. If he talked to the board that way. I wouldn't need to placate them so much. Yes? Why are you here, Walter? The board meeting isn't for a while. Our vacations aren't coming up either. 
It's the discretionary fund, Issa. I need all of it. Ugh. This wouldn't have anything to do with that meeting you've set up at the Astro Lounge, would it? I never said that. Did you have an agent hack into my files again? Only after you had one hack into mine. Tell me, can mutual distrust lead to a point where it's actually the same as mutual trust? A remarkably insecure location for a clandestine meeting. That was the point. Neutral territory in the open. With no leverage. Oh, you must let me help. It's been too long. I have this all taken care of. Some investigation into the cellar. What's motivating them? Then, some preliminary casing of the Astral Lounge for security flaws. Give you the advantage if things go wrong. Bribe a few bouncers, alter the codes on the doors. Yes, exactly. I hate being selfish, but I would like some time with my husband. We need to go through the fund authorizations anyway. James Newell is the broker who knows our seller. He'll be able to help you find out more about them. And it shouldn't be hard to find the Astral Lounge. Here, let me at least give you some operation funds since I won't be joining you. Meet me back here. Yeah, I'm going to be present for the negotiation. I'm not leaving you to the Neon Sharks, I promise. Thousand bucks. Hey, Mr. Moneybags. Catherine Lucian keeps and demanding damn. we look into her husband's murder. Should have added a couple more zeros under that bad boy. What? I know your type. This area makes me feel like I'm playing cyberpunk. Could possibly want. We're fully stocked and ready to sell. Welcome to Newell. Uh. Oh, I don't have a problem with that man. He skips merchant meetings and refuses to participate in any of our group <clears throat> box. Yeah, sure. Every payment Seagert makes validates Neon Security's corruption. He's setting a bad precedent that many merchants are forced to follow. Anyway, sorry. I know I can get a little intense about these things. If you'll forgive the outburst and have a look around, I'm sure you'll find something you might want to buy. Maybe I did? Information isn't usually... Easy, friend. Maybe so. I guess maybe I can add this to his tab. Okay. I don't know much. But I did have one of my freelancers tail the cellar back to his place. Sleep crate one. Let me write down the unit for you. I had to chase more zone heads out of here today. Uh, oh, that's it. Not sure. Sell some stuff, maybe buy some stuff if I can. If you have a moment, say let me know if we can make it. Sell ya. I don't need that. Favor this again? No! Oh, don't want to do that. Shit. Oh. 
Of course. Um. Buy your med packs. Trump pack. Two of those. Ammo I need. You don't have the ammo. Tell everyone you know about our store. Yeah, yeah, yeah. GPS is so shitty on this map. I don't get it. Succeed at that before we are discovered. Aren't you? Name's Boone Morgan, your new best friend on Neon. If you're here for a drink or listen to the music, I've got you covered. But if you're here for something a little more exciting, we have plenty of Aurora for sale. Oh, no, 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 no. I like to call it an exquisitely crafted transcendent experience. Here, we'll take a look. The Astro Lounge is one of the safest places in all of Neon. Security is hand-picked from the finest officers in the city. Then I would say you'd be interested in the Astro Lounge VIP package. For a reasonable fee, our security can be your security. We do strive. Huh. You work? Yeah. I'm still willing to talk. Well, I think we can certainly offer a discounted rate for you, if you were still interested. Excellent. Let me just apply that discount we discussed, and done. We do hope your meeting goes to your satisfaction. Sweet. Hope to see you again. Hell yeah, this is awesome!
I used to be an actuary. Now look. I never had the patience for computer systems. Me neither. If I'm honest. see your mind racing. I haven't even stopped to ask you how you're doing. I'm fine. The board complains, I assure them. There's the occasional assassination attempt. So, you don't need anything from me then? I don't. Am I just some useless stargazer? You would have been better off marrying a Hope or a Tayo, someone who could be with you at every meeting. Oh, don't go on about that again. Needing you isn't the same as wanting you. And I'd much rather want my partner than need them. Less complicated. Now, I know Constellation seems to take up so much of my time. But I never stop thinking of you. Wondering what maneuvering you're doing to take over the company and drive me out. It's how I show my love. Sounds like a dysfunctional ass Everything relationship. Ready? To the Astral Lounge and our cellar. Goodbye, my dear. See you at the next board meeting? Oh, I'll be keeping an eye on this little operation. Just in case. Good luck, all of you. I don't know what the cellar looks like, but they'll have a security briefcase with them, larger than normal, big enough to hold the artifact. We should split up. The code phrase to identify yourself as the buyer is Ramsey and Travers. Code phrases? Under different circumstances, Walter, I think you might have made an adequate smuggler. Remember, Ramsey and Travers. We'll meet back near the elevator. All right. <clears throat> He's got one. Get some Aurora and let's go. That looks like gold, but it's not a security. Hi! Take it easy. 
security briefcase. Security briefcase. Finally. You know why it looks so exciting? What? It never fails. Every time we go out, I end up taking care of something. I haven't seen any more security cases. Like that's not a security case. And there's that, or that, or that. wearing a Slayton Aerospace Service pin. You're doing Constellation proud. Hey! Enjoy yourself! Ah, oh, there you are. What is it? Can't you see I'm busy drinking? Oh, really? I heard you all have a meeting in a few minutes, don't you? In one of those fancy VIP lounges? Speaking of which, I gotta get going myself. Excuse me. Having fun? I just saw our cellar walk by. Good job. Now before we head in there, let me go over the ground rules. He'll ask for twice what we agreed on. That's normal. He'll probably try to walk out. That's normal too. Don't worry about the amount we actually settle on. The Stroud Eklund Discretionary Fund is just a chip to you and me. Our goal is to get him to accept that chip in exchange for the artifact. Anything goes as long as it's in our hands, and we're not dead. How does that sound? Okay. This'll be fun. So you, Stroud. You look different in person. Our public relations always insists on doing some touch-ups for the official photos. Embarrassing, really. Your security here going to stand or sit for this little meeting, making me nervous. So polite. Almost makes me forget what planet I'm on. to assume that briefcase has our item of interest? Yeah, here it is. Well, look at that. One of a kind, and I know you want it. I have the amount we agreed on. Uh-uh. Things have changed. I want double. Now how am I supposed to do that? I don't know, but your security here seems to have some fancy gear. Why don't they chip in? Hmm. Oh, really? And how do you know that? Who talked? Does it matter? We know you're in a fix, and we're still willing to buy. For the agreed-upon amount. I got people after me, okay? I can't just settle on what we agreed on. I need more so I can disappear. That's not our problem. Yep. 
We came here expecting one amount. Now you want another. You telling me Walter Stroud ain't got the cash? I'll walk out of this booth right now. I leave now. I can get a jump start on the people after me. Instead of you all wasting my time. You'd be on your way already if you just take the money I'm offering you and shut up. What's it going to be? Take or walk? I... Ah. Uh... All right. You win. Hand over the money. This... thing... is all yours. Well done. Some high-pressure tactics, but we got what we were after. Time to go home. She could have got it for cheaper. I could have got it for free. Stop right there! You're in possession of Slayton Aerospace property. Excuse ah. me. Slayton must have been the original owner. We don't need to do this. All's fair on Neon. Am I right? Hand over Mr. Slayton's property. Now. There a problem here? Yes. This armed thug was trying to steal our belongings. I'm going to need you to back away from our VIPs. Now. Fine, but you can't stay in the Astral Lounge forever, Stroud. Nicholas Slayton's already got your number. Sending our men to the Astral Lounge. <laughs> Slayton must be serious about getting the artifact back. We'd better get off the planet quickly. Asa. Something's gone wrong, hasn't it? Slayton has put a bounty on your heads. He's greased a few palms. Your ship's been impounded at the spaceport. There goes our way out. Agreed. Have a talk with the man himself. Or... Slayton Aerospace has offices here in the Trade Tower. If Nicholas is moving this quickly, he must be there or close by. Let's head to their lobby, shall we? See if we can make an appointment. I can get us out of this easy. Just take a few bullets. Welcome to Slayton Aerospace. Can I help you? <laughs> I'm afraid Mr. Slayton is... I hear you. Hmm. I don't think so. I'm afraid we just... Uh huh? Wait. This clearly isn't the executive level. He's on to us. Walter, uh, taking what's mine, then breaking into my office. A bold move, but one easily countered. Oh, we're trapped. Hello, Walter, dear, are you there? Uh -huh. Lisa? Took longer than I'd like, but I managed to pay off one of Slayton's security consultants. They've patched me in. All right. We've got her out. Once the door's open... I'm aware of the irony of me continuing to say it'll be easy. But it'll be easy. Doors will open in three, two, one. Slayton's guards and employees are all over. Be careful. Okay. You'll want to use the vent system to slip around unnoticed. There's a cupboard just to the right of the elevator you came in on. Oh. That's the elevator you came in on. Jump right across the top of it and keep going to the end. 
drop down and follow the conduit all the way to the end, past the fork. There's a vent above you. Just climb up. The room below you is clear. Drop down. Stop. One of the doors leads you right into the open. I'm unlocking a safe route. Opening the door on your right. Go now. Head left, but don't go through the door at the end yet. There's a robot stalking the hall. Wait. It's walking down the hall. Go now, straight across to the door. Keep going all the way to the end. Another robot up ahead. Wait, security is on full alert. No one's moving to our boots now. You have to... Oh, Hold on, we're trying to shut down that robot alone. No need. Got it. They're scrambling the protocols. I doubt that. I gotta give it to you, I don't think he's expecting this.
You're coming in just behind the executive elevators. I'll call the one on the far end, and you can walk right over. You know, it's moments like this that really makes Neon the best place to do business. You steal what's mine. I trap you in the city. You infiltrate my office. I lock it down. Where else can you match wits for the highest stakes but here? <laughs> you have what's mine. <clears throat> I, indirectly, have what's yours. We are at a stalemate. Not really. Although I do count a few more guns on my side. Your confidence is admirable. Oh, there he is. Best not to leave anything useful behind. Out of boots. All right. I think we're done here, though. Just got an achievement that says eliminate 300 humans. Nice. James Newell better watch his back. He's causing problems. Ever trust in this douche again when he's like, Scram. it's easy. Just had to massacre a whole company. The 
effort to make this place livable is astounding. No end can be accomplished when there are credit to be back in our own Blood ship. murder was a line I told myself I'd never cross. Do you really think we did the right thing back there? There was no other way. I can't argue with that. I'm just used to costs only being measured in money whenever I can help it. It is rarely only money, Walter. Now you have seen that. Well, I may not agree with every outcome, but you did everything to accomplish our goals and more. I don't often get a chance to work in the field. So, thank you. There's something I... We have lived on. not you determines our worth tell us please what are the artifacts what are they for did you make them what gives you more right to them than humanity answering your questions is exactly what we cannot allow abandon your thirst for knowledge or drown in it the more you understand the more damage you will do. How could just knowing what you are be dangerous? Our distance from you is the whole point. We interfere now because we must. I'm not liking what I'm seeing on the scans. Energy output from that ship is far above the normal range. If we spin up the grav drive now, we have a chance. We'll get through this. Hold on! When you have a moment, I'd like to speak to you. Not now, Sarah. sensors. Everyone's going to want to weigh in on this. Agreed, we should I have delay. something I need to discuss with you. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I'm here for you, my love. Me. Now that we have a moment, after your... That's according to what we're dealing with something unknown. Well, that temple proves we're dealing. The problem is... Hmm. Perhaps. It's just that all we know for certain at this point is that whoever created the artifacts are the same beings that built the temple. Oh, believe me, this is positively exhilarating. Think about the significance of this. Who was this wondrous? Perhaps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah come on. Never. In I just hope that. Well, oh yeah. Look, I've all, all I can do, whatever. My right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think 
You good to see Who you. Who the hell are you? Oh. Okay. Hello. Mm-hmm. Goodbye. I don't remember you. Way too many people up in this damn ship. Is this city meant to inspire or intimidate? Perhaps it depends on your reason for being here. Still getting used to this place. It does not quite feel like home, but hopefully someday. How is Neon? Are you? Okay. I'll start transferring the data over now. Let me just bring it up on here at the table. Everyone, come take a look at this. That's no faction vessel or Crimson Fleet. Secret military tech, maybe? Hmm, no United Colonies Admiral approved that starship design. They call themselves the Star War. Demanded we hand over the artifact. Like we were children playing with their parents' things. What do people know? Any offshoot groups go by that name? Not in any corner of the settled systems I've seen. Maybe a distant human colony finally popping its head up? Huh. Another house for room? I very much doubt that. We ignoring the obvious here? A heretofore unknown group who just happens to know about the artifacts. I'm just gonna say it. Intelligent alien life or extra-dimensional beings. The original creators from the furthest fringes of space. Or beyond even that, is the metaphor of avenging angels coming down to keep humanity from forbidden knowledge not apt here? So, we have a lot of theories, but nothing concrete. Except that they're after the artifacts, and they're willing to take them by force. No settled systems lab made these things, and I doubt one of them made that ship either. So, we got some weird extra-dimensional beings that coincidentally decide to build their spacefaring vessels exactly like we do. I'm not so sure about that. Noel, start analyzing all the data from the ship sensors. The gravitational wave they caused, scans of their weapons, shields, everything. We're in the dark. We need to learn anything about them we can including some way to fight them, if necessary. Until then, we stay the course. Collect the artifacts. It's even more important now that an intelligence we don't know or understand is looking for them. All we can do is be more cautious, but we are not stopping. This could end up being a race we don't want to lose. Vladimir, has the eye picked up anything new? Some glints of shine in the dark. Ready to hand them out as soon as you please. All right. Good luck, everyone. And be careful out there. Uh, Ask Parody. if you've got questions. Yeah. Speak up yeah. if you have ideas. Uh, We're all here to understand the same reason. I appreciate it, Chad. Oh. All right, guys, that's great. I'm going to end this may one. I regret this, but there's uh, something I'd like to ask you about. No, not right now. <laughs> Alright guys, that's where I'm going to end this one. Thank you so very much for sticking around and watching the whole thing if you did. It's greatly appreciated. It means the world to me. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace. Wow.